In this video, I'll show you how to put labels on your map in ArcMap. It's handy to use the label generator in ArcMap as a first step for labeling. You should probably expect to do some touch-ups to label styles and placement in Illustrator, but the database functionality of the GIS makes it really easy to put a lot of labels on your map all at once. ArcMap also has some good tools for automatically placing labels so they don't overlap in areas where there are a lot of them, and for rotating labels so they align with the Graticule. So our first step here is to turn on something called Mapplex, which is an extension to ArcMap. It's something that you buy a license for in addition to the basic ArcMap package. And we have a license for that, but we just need to make sure that it's turned on and ready to use. So we'll go up to Customize here, and then to Extensions, and then just make sure that Mapplex is checked, and then we'll hit Close. And the next thing we need to do is make sure that ArcMap is using Mapplex, that extension we just turned on, as its engine for placing labels on the map. So if we come up to the top of our, uh, our map window here where there are toolbars and we right click in some of the gray area where there could be toolbars but there aren't yet, we'll right click and then go down and turn on this labeling toolbar and that'll put a labeling toolbar on our screen. I'm just going to drag it up and dock it to the top of our screen there. There's a menu in the labeling toolbar. If we drop that down, then we can say use Mapplex Label Engine, and that will turn on the Mapplex Label Engine as the tool that Arc is going to use in order to put labels on our map. So once that's on, let's come over to the country layer here, which is what we want to put labels onto. We want to uh, start to label our countries with the names of the countries. And so if we come and right click on the country data layer right there, and click on properties. In the layer properties, there's a tab for labels. And the first thing we want to do is check label features in this layer. That will actually turn on labels for that layer. And if we hit apply, you can see that labels will come up after the countries are drawn. And they'll be styled based on the, uh, the character styles that we've got selected here. So in an aerial font at eight points. And we could change these if we wanted to. I think I might wait until we get into Illustrator to change some of the character styles. We'll just use Arc as a way of placing the labels on the page and then of making sure that they uh, don't conflict with each other uh, in space and that they are rotated with the Graticule. So now that we've got the labels on the page, we can come over to Placement Options here under Other Options. And this is where we start seeing the options associated with Mapplex. Uh, Mapplex will give us the option to stack our labels if there isn't room for them to be drawn out in one string. Uh, it'll give us options for how we want the labels to overlap the features that they're labeling, perhaps even reduce, reduce the font size in tight areas in order to accommodate dense labels. We can even abbreviate them. And then under Label Position, we have some options for placing based on rivers or land parcel. It has some presets for that sort of thing. And then there's even an option in here for orientation. If I click on that orientation option, I can say that I'd like to align my horizontal labels with a Graticule. And we see the effect of this when we're working with a map that has a projection where the Graticule appears curved. And we'd really like to reinforce the linearity of those curves by not having labels that are horizontal to the page, but that follow the curve of that Graticule. So I'll say that I'll align my horizontal labels to the Graticule, and we can even curve those labels so that instead of just being straight segments of label, they're, they actually follow a curve of the Graticule. And this would make more of a difference if we had a label that was large enough to be sort of spanning the length of our page. Luckily, all of our labels here are pretty short, and so they won't, we won't really see much of a difference in terms of curving them. And if we do select that curved option, once we bring it into Illustrator, that label won't be a single text string. It'll actually have a separate text string for each letter in the label, which will make it really inconvenient to, to edit them further down the road. So I'm going to say that we should just keep our Graticule alignment type as straight, so that each of those labels will be a single straight text string, but it'll just be rotated slightly so that it matches the rotation of the Graticule in that location. Hit OK, and then OK here. You can play with some of those other options if you want to. I hit apply and you can see when this draws out that those labels will be rotated with the Graticule. So here we go. You can see that Spain is just aligned with that Graticule. It's slightly rotated and the labels over here in Eastern Europe are rotated in the opposite direction so that they're aligned with the Graticule over in that part. I'll hit OK and now you're ready to export to Illustrator. 